iPhone 10R versus Galaxy S9 speed test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 10R versus the Galaxy S9 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. Now, this phone right here, the Galaxy S9, has a Snapdragon 845, four gigabytes of RAM and a 5.8 inch OLED screen. Over here, or Super AMOLED screen, for those of you who are gonna correct me, over here, LCD liquid retina display here. This has an A12 Bionic seven nanometer chipset combined with three gigabytes of RAM. This runs Android 8 Oreo, and this over here runs the iOS 12. Now, the Galaxy S9 is actually on sale for Black Friday. It's coming in at $519.99, so that's cheaper than a OnePlus for a Galaxy device over here, and significantly less than the iPhone 10R. Now, the 10R is also on sale with rebates and gift cards and stuff like that, but there's no upfront sale like where it's just going to be $250 off the top. So, the Galaxy S9 right now represents a better deal in stores for this Black Friday. Looks like the iPhone 10R did boot up first though over the Galaxy S9. Okay, so over here for the iPhone 10R, we have Face ID. So you simply just look at the phone and it will unlock three, two, one. And there it goes, so pretty fast. And it's even more responsive I find than last year's iPhone 10 when it comes to Face ID. Now with the Galaxy S9, you still have the famed fingerprint scanner here. You also have intelligent scan, which combines the iris and the less secure facial recognition on here to get in the device. So fingerprint is pretty fast here for the S9 and it's in the right location this time, like versus the S8, which was up here in an awkward location. Also, if you just look at the phone, it will recognize you. It's not always as fast as the 10R, but at least you don't have to do a swipe to get in. So three, two, one. And there it goes. So it's not bad at all. But if you do want more of a secure authentication, I would recommend you just use the iris scanner alone. But overall, there's multiple ways to get into the Galaxy S9 and there's Face ID, which authenticates with more apps than the one over here on the Galaxy device. Okay, guys, so we arrived at the application speed test portion. You can see everything closed out on the 10R, everything closed out on the Galaxy S9. Let's go ahead and go with calculator. And you can see it looks like the S9 was a little snappier. Let's go into clock. Looks like the iPhone 10 are there. What about settings? That one was to the 10 R. Let's go into Twitter. And you can see Twitter is first on the right, coming over here, then on the left with the 10 R. Let's go into Snapchat. Snapchat is first. That was pretty close. I couldn't even see that one. Let me know down below. What about Instagram? Three, two, one. Let's see which one opens Instagram first. Can the 10 R catch up? And whoever shows that picture first. It looks like it was the Galaxy S9. So the 10R a little bit slower here to load up Instagram. But once you're in the application, again, it's the classic fast scrolling for the Galaxy S9. And it's just a little smoother here for the iPhone 10R. So if you like that smooth feel, you'll love the 10R. But if you like a faster, more snappy kind of app opening time, you might like the Galaxy S9 a little bit more, especially if you put the animations down. Let's go into WhatsApp. WhatsApp is first on the right easily over the 10R. What about YouTube? And YouTube first on, looks like the right side. Let's go into trending. You could see pretty similar stuff here. However, I do think the Galaxy S9 has a much more enjoyable video watching experience because it has deeper blacks and it's just more contrasty. It's a super AMOLED screen, so it just looks better and there's no notch on this display. So for video watching, I would pick the Galaxy S9. So what about Prime Video? You can see first here on the right slightly, let's go ahead and click Kung Fu Panda and you can see pretty close there. So navigating applications is gonna be a pretty similar use case on both of these, Amazon, but keep in mind, you're gonna pay $200 less for a Galaxy S9. Let's go ahead and open up this deal of the day and you can see about the same there. I think the S9 a little bit ahead. Let's go into eBay, three, two, one. And let's see which one gets there first. Looks like the Galaxy S9 was ahead. Click Black Friday deals and iPhone 10R. So they flip flop in terms of speed of opening up things. Sometimes the 10R is faster, sometimes the Galaxy S9, but in gaming, Slither, you can see just a lot choppier there to open on the S9. Gaming is where the GPU on the iPhone 10R is just so much faster than that on the Galaxy S9. So if you like gaming on your phone, you definitely want the 10R. There's also better titles in the app store for gaming than on the Play Store. Okay, so let's head into Jetpack Joyride, three, two, one. 
and see which one gets there first. Looks like the 10R says, sit down, Galaxy S9. I'll meet you at the finish line. The Galaxy S9 way behind there, opening up just Jetpack Joyride. So let's go into Dead Trigger 2, 3, 2, 1, and see what happens here. So Dead Trigger 2 with a massive win on the iPhone 10R. Let's hit play and see which one could get into the game first. And you could see the 10R is just so much faster when it comes to gaming. So if you want speed when it comes to gaming performance, it's also uh, smoother when it comes to the graphics as well. And more applications, like I say, are arriving to the App Store first. So gaming still wins, I think, overall on the iPhone 10R versus the Galaxy device. But not everybody wants to game on these small screens. So it is definitely going to be for specific people only. Let's go into Antutu Benchmark, and you could see pretty similar there. However, I'm going to have to give that win easily to the iPhone 10R. What about speedtest.net? And there was no comparison, the 10R there. Let's go into Video Shop. You can see Video Shop to the 10R. So I think where the performance actually mattered, the iPhone 10R is the more powerful phone because where you're really going to use it is in gaming, for example. In everyday applications, though, the Galaxy S9 is super snappy, and for most people, that should be enough if you're not a gamer. But if you're a gamer or you're doing a little bit more heavy stuff on your phone, the 10R is going to be the way to go here when it comes to performance. All right, guys, let's quickly run through some multitasking to see if we get any reloads on either. So the 10R looking good so far. Pause is dead trigger as it should. And paused on the Jetpack Joyride Slither. Ready to go. Pretty good RAM management so far. Slight reload there on eBay and Prime Video. YouTube, what about WhatsApp? WhatsApp's good. Instagram, that's good to go. Snapchat, Twitter, settings, clock, and calculator. So pretty good overall performance there when going back through the applications. Can the S9 with more RAM hold more applications in the background or at least do a little bit better? You can see Video Shop ready to go. Speed Test ready to go. And Tutu ready to go. Jetpack or Dead Trigger 2 did the same thing. It just paused like it did over there on the iPhone. Let's go into Slither. Nothing so far. So looking good here for the Galaxy S9. It refreshed on eBay just like it did for the 10R. So, so far, it's pretty equal. You can see Amazon the same. Prime Video the same. YouTube did about the same thing. WhatsApp is ready. Let's go into Instagram. You can see same stuff. Snapchat. And you can see Twitter. It just doesn't look as smooth when opening these applications on the RAM management than it does on the iPhone XR, but it's still holding them just fine for the Galaxy S9. So overall, I'm calling it about equal here when it comes to opening up those applications and the RAM management in the second round. Okay, guys, so I shot a one minute clip at 1080-30, and we're going to go ahead and render this thing out at 1080-30 on both devices to see which one is quicker on both. So let's go ahead and hit to photos and gallery on the right three, two, one, and see which one gets there first. So it says compiling video here and saving on the left. I think the 10R is going to win this, but the Galaxy S9 is not playing around right now. So this is a pretty close call so far. However, the 10R seems to be taking the lead. Which one is going to finish here? Looks like the 10R is the more powerful phone. Of course, we were expecting that weren't we? And there we go. The upload is complete there on the Galaxy S9. So the Galaxy S9 is the slower video rendering phone, rendering the iPhone XR more powerful. Does this matter to you? You're going to have to decide that for yourself. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in, and you can see that the iPhone XR, again, with an easy crushing win over the Galaxy S9. In Antutu Benchmark, you can see that the iPhone XR is ranking right around 334,365, just behind the iPhone XS and XS Max. And the Galaxy S9 over here is coming in in 16th place with 262,347 points. So the Galaxy S9 is not the most powerful smartphone out there. But for this discount, I think it's a great deal here with the Galaxy S9. The iPhone XR is still going to run you more. However, you get more power in this device. Overall, the iPhone XR is the performance champ between these two. But rather, it's a better phone really comes down to some other factors. So if you guys want to see a full comparison between these two, let me know your thoughts down below. Which one you think is better overall, not just speed, the iPhone XR or the Galaxy S9? Comment that down below. And if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.